Transgender Day of Remembrance uh, represents a lot of things to me. Um, it represents how far we've come as a community. It represents how far we still have to go. It represents our individuality. It represents our togetherness. It involves families. It involves so much of the human experience. Frankly, in a way, I dread this day every year because Every year you look over the list of the people that have lost their lives that year. And, um, it's sickening, frankly. Um, but I look forward to that list getting shorter, and I can't wait till the day that we don't have anybody to remember that year. In some ways I find it odd, but in others, not at all, that the trans community has um, coalesced around this rather morbid day of remembrance where we review all of those that have died in the past year. Um, I don't know how any trans person can go to a day of remembrance and not think there but for the grace of God go I. If you are killed and abused for who you are that's not fair and that's why trans people are killed and abused. They're killed and abused because of who they are and that is seriously not fair at all. So that's why I think it's incredibly important to celebrate TDOR and I also think that it's important for adults to understand, but I think it's mostly important for kids to understand because it's going to go into their minds and be with them for life. <sighs> Riff rap, street rat, I don't buy that. If only they'd look closer, would they see a poor girl? No siree, they'd find out there's so much more to me. You know, it's sad that we've got a day that's set apart to remember how a human being was killed because of a crime based on hate. So, when you ask me, what does the Transgender Day of Remembrance mean to me? It means that today, we become teachers, we become educators, we become protectors, we become providers of awareness. Today, we create good memories. We won't forget you. I wanted to say something to the families, the loved ones that are left behind, why their brother, their sister, their mother, their aunt, their father, their uncle, been taken. Um, I want to tell you all that they are loved, they are missed, and they are remembered. About two months ago, um, a few weeks after I got back from Canada, I was uh, really badly attacked. And it got me in a very, very bad way. Not just physically, but emotionally. Um, the majority of my injuries was to my face and to my head that scared living daylights out of me. You know, it, it sort of gave me a bit of a wake-up call because it goes to show that it can happen to you. You know, I was really happy and I was very happy that, you know, I knew this sort of 
violence was out there and it didn't affect me or you know you just don't think it will affect you but it did and um, I got in a very very bad way I had to leave my job because I wasn't able to work work um, just because of I was in so much pain if we don't talk about it if we don't spread the word no matter how unpleasant then it will keep happening the stride we've taken up to now and our struggle for our rights and for what's only fair for us to have are meaningless without if, without remembering why. Don't let the memory of this thing fade. The pain we felt for those who are casualties in our cause can never slacken, never become easier to bear, never go away. We need the pain to remember and honor those who have come before us. Join me on the Transgender Day of Remembrance, November 20th, in my sadness and anger. How lucky I am to have survived the beatings, the rapes, all of the hateful things that have happened to me. It's a time to be thankful for what we do have. It's a time to stop being selfish and stop thinking about what you don't have. You have a life, you can make a difference. This is a chance for us to start making a difference. What does the Transgender Day of Remembrance mean to me? Summarized in one word, hope. It gives me hope that someday, down the road, Transgender Day of Remembrance is not going to have people that are transgender that were killed recently. It's going to be reflecting back on the very historical murders. And we won't have to worry about walking the streets in a city at night wondering if people know that we're trans. I've had people come up to me and beat me and attack me, say words to me. I've had people tell me that they would rape me so that I would accept the woman that I am. Because in their eyes, I'm a real woman because what's between my legs defines who I am. But that one day, Transgender Day of Remembrance, that is the one day that I can actually sit down and breathe and say, oh my god, people are listening. It's a day to teach, it's a day to learn, it's a day to reflect, and a day to look forward. One should never have to die like this. One should never have to die for this. I am fearful. In a community where goodbyes are lotto tickets, a day out is Russian roulette. Our lives are not to be another chip on the table, but because they are, take nothing for granted. One per month, 353 and counting, but one even, that is not acceptable. We will fight for the day when transgender has nothing to bear on our death. And we will never forget the ones where it did. Our tears will not wash away the memories of you.